use is the request schedule. After we have set the main parameters of the USSD, we must adjust the schedule of its sending. In the right window, we need to click with the right mouse button and click Add. Let's start with a window titled General. Below there is a field Enable. Here you can either enable or disable USSD. This is useful when you want to create a lot of USSD requests for specific purposes, but you do not need to make them all active at the moment. Next, we choose the tariff to which this USSD will be applied. It will be sent by all of the SIM cards which have this tariff. Also, we choose the desirable option of this tariff. The check mark block is blocking outgoing terminating calls by the time the USSD will not be sent successfully. We have introduced such thing as successfulness of USSD. It is when we have received from the operator of the answer we wanted. If USSD has not been sent and we did not get the answer that was expected from the operator, USSD would not be considered as a successful one. What do we need that for? For example, if we want to use only bonus minutes for calls, we create USSD to order bonus minutes, and by the time they will be ordered, this SIM card will not be able to call. This is our fail striking section. If USSD was not sent successfully, means we have not received a response. The program counts the number of fail and prevents the SIM card blocking. The first stage is fails to call blocking. This is a quantity of unsuccessful USSD sending, after which the SIM card will be blocked to avoid negative consequences. After the SIM card will make more attempts to send USSD which can be set in the fail to unload. After all of these attempts, it will be unloaded from the channel and try again to send USSD. And only after the quantity of attempts that can be set in the fails to block field, it will be removed to the SIM block report. Also, you can set the pose between all of the attempts in the fail pose field. Then we move to the schedule request section. The schedule of sending can be of two types, use it once and the schedule itself. If we set use it once feature, then as soon as the card will understand that it is allowed to send USSD, it will send a USSD once for all time. If we add some new SIM cards in the same tariff, they will also send this USSD once as soon as they will be registered in the GSM network. The next option is Unload. This means that the SIM card will send the USSD each time after registering in the GSM network. In addition, if the USSD failed, the card will not be allowed to call. The next option is Unload Order. This is the order of USSD sending. This option is required when your tariff has several USSD requests, which must be sent at the same time. In that case, we can put the number for each request. The smaller the number, the early USSD will be sent. We also have three scheduled parameters for USSD sending. The first one is called calls. We can send USSD, for example, after each five calls. If we specify the deviation, plus minus 50%, this very request will be sent with interval from 3 to 7 calls. The second option is duration, means that the SIM card will send USSD requests every time after a certain number of minutes while being in call. In the interval field, we put the time interval after which the USSD is sent. If we set all three parameters, USSD will be sent whenever the first of them is reached. If we want to create a schedule only for one parameter, we put zero for all the rest. If set zero in all three fields, USSD will not be sent. For the end, click on the save button and your USSD request will be sent with the desirable schedule.